a very good morning children uh, welcome to the online english classes in the last class i had completed one poem from your first flight book and today i am going to start a new lesson from your supplementary reader that is footprint without feet the name of the lesson is the necklace by guy de maupassant okay so actually he was a great french story writer and uh, the story it revolves around a middle class woman named matilda who often dreams of the lavish life but doesn't live within her means it means what is with her okay she is never satisfied with that and uh, although she belongs to a poor family of clerks but she is proud of her beauty and youth and dreams of a royal lifestyle means she is always uh, happy in the materialistic world okay so uh, just this story okay uh it conveys a very beautiful message at the end and it's very interesting story to children so you will like it so be with me let me start the story you know i will be dealing the story paragraph wise and uh, discussing the difficult word meanings in between okay so coming to your book children lesson 7 the necklace matilda is invited to a grand party She has a beautiful dress but no jewelry. She borrows a necklace from a friend and loses it. What happens then? So hope so till here you understood. So it's a suspense over there. So let's come to know what happens at the end, okay? Coming to the first para. She was one of those pretty young ladies born as if through an error of destiny into a family of clerks. She had no dowry, no hopes, no means of becoming known, loved and married by a man either rich or distinguished and she allowed herself to marry a petty clerk in the office of the board of education. She was simple but she was unhappy. she suffered incessantly feeling herself born for all delicacies and luxuries she suffered from the poverty of her apartment the shabby walls and the worn chairs all these things tortured and angered her so she hope you understood who is this she mentioned over here yeah she is the woman uh about whom we are dealing the main character the protagonist of this story that is matilda okay so matilda she was one of the very pretty she was very attractive young lady and she was born of is to an error of destiny destiny means fate your luck okay so it seems that it was a mistake of her fate that she was born in the family of clerks clerks you know very well those who work in the offices okay uh, so uh, really it was her uh, mistake of her fate her luck that she was born in that uh, clerks family she had no dowry and no hopes even so she had no dowry and even she had no hopes no means of becoming known mean she was born in the family where she couldn't get any dowry dowry you know the things which are given at the time of marriages isn't it different uh, varieties of things when the girl marries that time the things which are given by her parents so she couldn't uh, accept that or uh, get the dowry and she had no hopes even no means of becoming known means there was no way that she could become so popular also or either she would be loved by anyone okay and uh, there was no hope of getting married by a man what type of man either a rich or a distinguished distinguished means very famous person and she allowed herself to marry that's why she had allowed herself to marry a petty clerk petty means very small okay 
so she had to marry a small clerk in the office uh, where he worked in the board of education the girl matilda she was simple but she was very unhappy she suffered incessantly incessantly means continuously okay always every time she has to suffer in what way because she feels herself born for all the delicacies and luxuries delicacies means all the delicate things whatever is required she feels that she should get all the good things okay uh, whatever are available and luxuries luxuries means she wanted all the great comforts of life that's why she always used to suffered because what she thinks she doesn't gets that she suffered uh, from the poverty of her apartment so for what all purpose she used to suffer because she had to uh, live okay where in one apartment apartment means one room that is in the flat uh, which had the shabby shabby means dirty walls and the worn chairs worn means which are overused or torn isn't it torn is used for the clothes and here we can say for the chairs it are overused so the old chairs uh, she has to use in one flat and that shows that she was suffering from poverty okay she was lacking richness all these things tortured and angered her so uh, all these things really it were the causes of suffering for her okay and that's why she was always getting so angry next when she seated herself for dinner opposite her husband who uncovered the tureen with a delighted air saying oh the good pot pie i know nothing better than that she would think of elegant dinners of shining silver she thought of the exquisite food served in marvelous dishes she had neither frocks nor jewels nothing and she loved only those things so now here in that small flat in that room when she used to sit with her husband okay who was her husband one of the clerk in the board of education okay so when she used for the dinner just uh, in front of her husband that time that person when he uncovered when he with a uh, a delighted air means the cheerful face that person was very uh, very nice guy and uh, he was very uh, happy and a, a joyous person okay and pot pie means a kind of delicacy okay one kind of food so when at the dinner table when he used to just uncover the tureen tureen means the one of the dish with a lid okay so deep dish with a lid container you can see in which uh, any food is kept so when he used to uncover that open the lid with a kind of uh, just i told you a good happy face and when he says oh uh, what a kind of super food we are going to eat okay i know nothing better than that really it's so good food then that time matilda that girl she would think of elegant dinners elegant means very graceful okay she would think of very graceful and very big dinners of shining silvers shining silvers means she thinks that she must instead of that uh, dish with the lid and all she should have the silver ware okay the things in which uh, it should be kept should be made of silver and all and she thought of the exquisite food exquisite means very beautiful in a grand way the food must be served in the marvelous dishes means means tasty foods must be served to her okay so these were her dreams she had neither frocks nor jewels she was so poor that she didn't have any good dress to wear and nor any jewelry of that matching dresses and all nothing she had and the only reason was that she was suffering was that she loved all those things which she never possessed okay now 
she had a rich friend a schoolmate at the convent who she did not like to visit she suffered so much when she returned she wept for whole days from despair and disappointment one evening her husband returned elated bearing in his hand a large envelope here he said here is something for you now this matilda she had a rich friend of her okay and uh, that rich friend was the schoolmate at the convent school as you are also learning in the convent school children so she also used to study in the convent school where she had a rich uh, schoolmate but she never liked to visit her house okay because she had to suffer a lot again she feels very bad when she comes back from her house because the friend was very rich as i told you and she was from a poor family so whenever she looks at all that luxuries and a happy life of others she feels so tortured okay she suffers a lot and she used to weep cry okay for the whole days from despair despair means hopelessness she was hopelessness that never she would get all those things which others possess so and disappointment sadness so she feels so sad and hopeless when she visits her rich friend's house and returns back home so one evening what happens her husband uh, he returns home elated elated means he was very happy okay he was delighted uh, with a large envelope uh, he was carrying a large envelope in his hand and coming home he was so happy giving that to matilda and saying that see what i brought for you that is something for you surprise she quickly drew out a printed card on which were inscribed these words so when she opened the envelope and she took out one printed card so the words which were uh, just written on that were the minister of public instruction and madam george rampania as the honor of m and mme lazels company monday evening january 18th at the minister's residence residence means the place where any person lives isn't it so what were the words over there that the minister of public instruction okay and madam george rampano they are inviting whom mr and madam lozel okay that is matilda lozel his company um, on monday 18th january at the minister's house that is the minister's residence so the minister of the public instruction invite gave an invitation to them instead of being delighted as her husband had hoped she threw the invitation spitefully upon the table murmuring what do you suppose i want with that so in uh, this mr lazel he thought that that uh, matilda will be very happy seeing the invitation okay but the reverse happened okay so what happened instead of being getting happy uh, as uh, matilda's husband had hoped she just threw away that invitation spitefully means offending in an angry way upon one of the table and going on murmuring means speaking in a very low voice that what do you suppose i want with that that uh, what do you think that i want with this card what to do with this card nothing to do but my dearie i thought it would make you happy you never go out and this is an occasion and a fine one everybody wishes one and is very select not many are given to employees you will see the whole official world there so now uh, matilda's husband is convincing her okay very humbly very politely that my dear i thought it would make you happy i thought really this card will give you little happiness as you never go out you always stay inside the house and this is one occasion we are getting to celebrate okay one chance so and that also very fine a very good occasion to celebrate and everybody wishes one i hope so this type of invitations uh, is the wish of every person that they should be invited and reality is a very selective one 
and not many are given to employees okay and this types of invitations are not given to many employees even those who are working there and you will see the whole official world there if you will come with along with me in that uh, to that grand party that time you will really find the whole official world all the office people and the great honorees and dignitaries you may see there she looked at him with an irritated eye and declared impatiently what do you suppose i have to wear to such a thing as that so listening all this she looked at her husband with an irritated eye with an angry eye and declared impatiently so without having patience now she couldn't uh, have patience uh, she said what do you suppose that i have to wear on such a thing that means in such a grand occasion what do you think i should wear and go as you came to know that she was not having any beautiful dresses no frocks no jewels and all that isn't it so now she was feeling embarrassed that how she could face such a, the great personalities over there he had not thought of that he stammered why the dress you wear when we go to the theater it seems very pretty to me he was silent stupefied in dismay at the sight of his wife weeping he stammered what is the matter what is the matter so after listening that that what she should wear and go okay so now he never had thought about that isn't it he stammered stammered means he spoke with sudden pauses okay uh, means uh, when couldn't speak in fluency na when you stop and speak again that is stammering okay so uh, he was just stammering here that why she he said that the dress which you wear when we go to the theater sometimes to see the movie and all that seems very pretty on you you look very beautiful okay then he got silent he was stupefied means he was really uh, shocked dismay means sad okay why he got shocked and sad when he saw his wife weeping she was crying like anything over there okay and that made her husband completely silent and again he stammered he couldn't speak even properly to uh, his wife there so he was stammering again he was speaking with sudden pause that what's the matter let me know why you are crying what do you need by a violent effort she had controlled her vexation and responded in a calm voice wiping her moist cheeks nothing only i have no dress and consequently i cannot go to this affair give your card to some colleague whose wife is better fitted out than i so violent means very strong so with the strong effort she controlled her a vexation means anger the state of being annoyed okay she controlled herself and she responded she gave a response in a calm voice by controlling over her anger and she was wiping her moist cheeks she was crying so her cheeks had got wet okay so now she was wiping it she was uh, uh, getting uh, her cheeks dry and she said holding her anger that nothing is the matter only one matter is there that she don't have any dress very beautiful dress to wear for that grand party and consequently and as a result consequently means as a result she can't attend that party okay give your card to some colleague colleague means you know one who works along with uh, the person in the office and all so uh, just she asked her husband to give off that card to any of other colleagues of him whose wife is better fitted out than i means who have the good dresses and who are really rich who can attend that party he was grieved but answered let us see matilda how much would a suitable costume cost something that would serve for other occasions something very simple 
so he was grieved grieved means he was full of grief sorrow he got very sad listening to this but still he answered to matilda that let's see matilda how much would a suitable costume costume means a dress so he was just asking how much it will cost okay uh, and something that would serve for other occasions something very simple so how much will it cost that could also serve for any other occasions and something that would be very simple so she reflected for some seconds thinking of a sum that she could ask for without bringing with it an immediate refusal and a frightened exclamation from the economical clerk finally she said in a hesitating voice i cannot tell exactly but it seems to me that 400 francs ought to cover it so when matilda's husband asked that uh, how much a very beautiful costume may cost okay that uh, you may get that we can purchase for any other occasion so just she reflected means she thought for some seconds okay she was in a thought and thinking of a sum that she could ask for without bringing it in immediate refusal and she just started to think that uh, what amount she could tell that it can't be refused okay immediately it can't be refused and if write an exclamation from the economical clerk this means uh, exclamation means a uh, sudden expression from the economical economical here refers to whom careful in spending money now she, when uh, matilda's husband asked her how much a dress good dress can cost so see she knew that her husband was very economical okay he was very careful in spending the money so she was thinking of the amount how much she could say so that her husband couldn't refuse it and couldn't get even uh, frightened by listening to that amount that whether he could spend it or not okay so finally she said in a hesitating she got little bit hesitated uh, and she said that i cannot tell exactly uh, but it seems to me that 400 francs so uh, as i told you this is a french story so there the um, uh, money used is the francs so she said that i can't say exactly but i think 400 francs is enough to get a beautiful new dress he turned a little pale uh, for uh, he had saved just this sum to buy a gun that he might be able to join some hunting parties the next summer with some friends who went to uh, shoot the larks on sunday nevertheless he answered very well i will give you 400 francs but try to have a pretty dress so now when matilda replied uh, him about 400 francs so first of all he turned little pale pale means yellowish his face turned yellowish he got literally got shocked listening that because only that much amount he had saved okay for what purpose to buy a gun for what purpose he needed the gun so that he might be able to join the hunting parties okay and during the next summer he wanted to join the uh, one group for hunting purpose with some of his friends who went to shoot the larks on sunday larks means the birds okay this type of birds so <coughs> he also wanted to shoot the birds <coughs> sorry children nevertheless he answered <coughs> so let me end here goodbye till the next class